Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the this selector. Now, I call it a this selector. However, it's not categorized as um, an actual selector. But what it does is it allows us to reference a particular object that we're currently uh, working with or inside. So for example, if we were to create a button and wanted this button to be clicked and then the text on, it, on this button to be changed, we can do so by referencing it using this. And this saves a lot of time with using selectors uh, to reference a particular object um, where in actual fact we only need to reference it once and inside a particular function we can use this. So if you're unsure what I'm talking about I'm going to go ahead and give you an example. So I'm going to go ahead and create a button on my page so an input type button and I'm going to assign a value as click me. Now when I click this button I want the value to change to uh, please wait or something like that. You'll probably notice that on a lot of websites when you click a button, for example payment buttons, uh, the text will change and it will disable the button. Uh, and this is just so the button can't be clicked twice. Now we're only going to be changing the value of this, we're not going to be disabling it, but obviously you can uh, go ahead Google around for how you would disable a button. Now I'm going to give this an ID and I'm just going to call it um, button for example and we use this ID to uh, select this button. So let's go over to our browser and just take a look at that. You can see that we've got our click me button here. When we click it we need to uh, assign an event handler for something to happen. Now let's say we uh, had this click me button, we could do absolutely anything once we've assigned an event handler to it. We can display a message, we can submit a form, we can load a different page. Uh, it's entirely up to you how you use this. However, let's go and focus on how we can use this. Okay, so I've already included this selectors.js file into my page as well as jQuery because obviously we're making use of jQuery. However, the selectors.js file is just simply an external JavaScript file that we're going to be writing our code in. We're keeping our JavaScript in an external file. So we can go ahead and use a selector to reference this particular button and then perform an action. And this action will be to change the value of this button. So let's go over to selectors.js and let's go ahead and use a selector to reference button. Now we've used a hash because we're using an ID here and the name of the button is button. This value here is not to be confused with this type here. For example, if I call this button click, I would then change this to button click and I think we'll leave it at that. Okay, so now we want to use a dot to bind an event handler and this event handler is click. And inside here we need a function. Now let's go ahead and do this the wrong way, uh, how we shouldn't really do it, uh, and then we'll go ahead and look and look at changing this to make use of the this keyword. Okay, so when this button is clicked, let's go ahead and test the functionality, and I'm just going to alert out a dialog box saying clicked. So when I click this button now, you see that we have this alert dialog saying clicked. So we know that the clicking of our button has worked, but what we actually want to go ahead and do is change the value of this. So we can use the attr function in uh, jQuery, which stands for attribute, and we would normally go ahead and say button underscore, underscore click dot attr. And what this will do, you can uh, specify a value in the first parameter, which is value. Uh, essentially what we're doing is we're changing an attribute of this button. And the attribute we want to change is the value, which is currently set to click me. Now if we want to go ahead and change this to something, we can. So I could say, please wait. So what's going to happen now is when we click on our button, we're again selecting our button and changing the attribute value to please wait. So let's go ahead and check out uh, how this works. When I click this button, you see it changes to please wait. So quite an easy piece of code and quite effective. However, if you're using um, a reference to a particular object within inside a function uh, a lot, you can go ahead and eliminate the need to re-reference this or reselect this button. And you can do that using the this selector. Now, like I said, it's not an actual jQuery selector. However, the reason I'm uh, doing this tutorial is just to demonstrate the functionality of this. Now, what this will do is it will pick up the current um, element that we're working with. So essentially, by replacing it with this, um, JavaScript automatically replaces this 
with button click. So it's a good coding practice to get into by using this uh, as opposed to keep re-referencing a particular element on your page. So now when we refresh you can see that it works in exactly the same way just by using this. So like I've said um, this is a a uh, better way to write your code in terms of um, you know in terms of using uh, this keyword here uh, as opposed to re-referencing -re this over and over again now the reason for this is let's just say you had lots of references back to this button uh, inside of here you might have for example some more code down here that did something else what happens if we go ahead and change this button ID we might just change it to button for example now what we would have to do if we had constantly um, applied this text here, this selector here, is we would have to go and change every single thing on our page. So some more code down here uh, might make use of this selector. So by using this, we can automatically just determine which um, element that we're currently working with. So you can see it would be a lot easier to change if you had you know say two three hundred lines of code uh, and you were using um, a selector each time so by using this you're creating a static version uh, of this select original selector so that's the this selector in uh, jQuery or just in JavaScript uh, an extremely effective way to program